Alright, hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install Escape from Tarkov on through Lutris on Linux. So, in my case being specifically Arch, but it, once you have Lutris, it, it, the whole process is exactly the same on any distro. So, for start of business, make sure you have Lutris. So, for most people, you, you might want to get it as a flat pack. Um, if not, then in my case, it would be you'd get it through... Um, you'd get it through just the AUR, so you say, yay, Lutris. Um, I have it already right here, so I'll just leave it as is. Um, so after that, you just want to open Lutris. And you see I already have it here, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this so we can go straight from the very beginning. So first order of business, or I guess not first order of business now, but um, next thing you want to do is press this plus here and search for installers on the Lutris site. So this is this one right here, you can go ahead and search for a game. So you say escape from Tarkov. And this is the one that will show up. Once you've pressed it, it'll ask you to install Wine and, well, not install wine, but this is this is what you need. It's is part of the installer. So you just go ahead and press install. You can pick where you want to install this, but this isn't the game itself, but I would I would advise you to put this in a place where you'll have space to spare. Um, and at that point you can choose to make a shortcut through Steam. So if you open Steam, it'll show up as a one of the non-Steam games and uh, you can have it show up in the applications menu. So if you have here, it'll show in here. You could be able to open it and you can also show it on your desktop. I won't enable any of these, but uh, now it'll just run its thing. It'll take a, take a little bit, but apart from that, um, once we've gotten to this point, this is just getting the Escape from Tarkov launcher. So it's getting the straight from BSG. Just press install up here in the you click on it first and then install on the top right. And when it's uh when it finishes, we'll go on to the next step. And it'll get to this point here where it'll show you the whole installation process where it's setting it up, the install script is doing its thing. So this is typically what takes the longest. And once this is done, it'll go to the launcher and we'll install from there. And something to consider with with uh, Escape from Tarkov on Linux is though it works right now, it only works to an extent. So Offline raids are the only things that work. Um, flea market works though. Um, offline, unfortunately not co-op offline. Um, traders work, your stash works, pretty much everything except for anything related to playing online. Though you can still mess with the flea market and that is to some degree online. And I'll probably speed this up in in a uh, in post i guess yeah Once the installation was completed, you want to close it first, don't open it yet. We're going to go to configure and we'll go ahead and make sure that you're using the right um, uh, wine version. You can really use this one. This one typically works best. You can also try to use Proton, but uh, typically wine is what works best, especially the Lutris version. You can use system wine but it doesn't really make a, much of a difference. Want to make sure this is enabled, 
v DXVK, VK, D3D. Make sure that's activated. You don't need to mess with this because DG, DG Voodoo, this has nothing to do with this. Um, meant for older games, really. But um, E Sync, F Sync, if your kernel supports it, the pretty much everything except for uh, like Deviant, um, Ubuntu, you know, very stable releases like that support these. I don't. As a matter of fact, they might be supported now, both of them. So um, make sure these are both enabled as well. You can enable this if you like, but I don't really... I mean, I could, since the game has FSR, it wouldn't hurt anyways. But this needs to be enabled. Battle Eye, um, Anti-Cheat, make sure this is enabled. You don't really need this, because the game has nothing to do with it. But um, other than that, you're pretty much good to go. You can check anywhere in here if you need to mess with any other... Uh, any other changes? BSG, this will go through the Wine directory, the Wine file explorer. So you can save that and launch the game. And first thing is that it'll ask you what language you want. And in my case, it'll be this. And now, obviously, you need to log in, so I'll probably black this out in, um, in post. What the hell? Oh my god, no way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you're here. You can just install now. There's really nothing else to it. This is just the normal launcher. You can pick a place to install. It doesn't really. It's set to C Battle State Games EFT, so it's got. This is like your main drive wherever your wine is located. You just press install and you're good to go, really. It's just once you've installed, run and it'll be good. Occasionally there will be some stability issues depending on what kind of hardware you're running or what exactly is the deal with your hardware um, or your software, excuse me. But apart from that, it's pretty much good to go. Uh, like I said earlier, on ra online raids won't work. If you try to connect to an online raid, it'll let you get to where you are supposed to start moving around in the raid but then you disconnect because your anti-cheat isn't working as it should so that's the state of the game right now things are looking to change fairly soon we saw some updates but um i would not count on anything in the very near future but yeah apart from that that's been it once the game installs it'll run really nothing else to it
Thank you.